Um, all right. Uh, all right. So the first uh, actual one is from uh, Junior Carrier from Mongo Lee. What's his name? Junior Carrier. Or Carrier. Junior Carrier. Carrier, where are you? Let me see. Right. Hey. Hi. How are you? I'm he says, good. He saw. He's seen all the shows in Quebec since 1994 when he was 14 years old and did 800 kilometers to see counterparts. Wow. Ooh. Jesus. Uh, he's, he asks, uh, which Rush song, Rick Rush song is the hardest to play for you while singing? Uh, and he says, by the way, you deserve an Oscar for your performance in Murdoch Mysteries. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, thank you so much. I love to act, so I really do. Um, the hardest song to play and sing that I've ever written was uh, The Anarchist from Clockwork Angels. Because uh, I wrote that song on bass first, obviously, uh, and when uh, we put the kind of bed track together in the, in the demo stage, I wrote this melody without thinking about what the bass part was. And it wasn't until after we finished production of the record and I was in rehearsal where I realized they're so completely different uh, rhythmically. They, there was no meeting in the middle. You know, usually one, you know, my bass part would follow a pattern and the voice sort of slips into it, but that one was just impossible. So I spent weeks literally playing the one song just on bass, didn't try singing it, until I didn't have to think about the bass part at all. And then I would have to really concentrate and then I could do it. I figured out a way I could do it. So when I started playing it live, it's the one song I have to sort of split myself like a drummer does. You know, drummers have independence. Bass players not always have independence. So it was a real challenge, but thank you for asking the question.